Chris Cooper and welcome to my channel and I'm going to go back on to talking about uh, my own artwork so this is going to be essentially an art vlog again. Uh, I'm just going to be talking about a series of work I've been working on for the last few months. So in many respects it's been more like a year where I've been exploring the themes of which I'll um, talk more about in this video. Um, so talking about individual paintings is uh, very difficult a lot of the time because I mean, as a painter I know for myself that I don't always consciously know what I'm painting at the time. Sometimes I go into a painting with a subject in mind but most of the time I tend to be painting that works in the unconscious so that doesn't tend to be the way that I, uh, I start painting really. So, it's going to be a few images of the work coming up in this vlog and I'll talk broadly about the themes that I'm exploring and I'm hoping at some point in the very near future to uh, put a show, another solo show on, possibly in Maxfield as I'll be living there soon. Uh, okay, onwards. So, um, there's a few different themes that I am uh, exploring at the minute in my work. One major one is animalism, which is the idea of um, animalistic forms, basically. And I'm morphing them, so it's biomorphism as well. So I'm um, combining humanoid and animal forms. I guess the underlying idea there would be that um, an abstract idea of some sort of spirit or some sort of essence, right? If you want to put it into another uh, term, an essence of uh, figurative figures, basically. Now, these figures aren't uh, always. I mean, they, sometimes people from my real life, they might they their parts of the character or the way that they move the world might come into my mind, or I might think about that later on. But often at the time when I'm actually producing the paintings, it does not. Uh, I recently produced a self-portrait, uh, which is not that unusual, but again, I'm trying to bring in some of these visual elements that I've been uh, working with recently. Colour-wise, I've been working with a lot more neutral greens, browns, and a bit of red. Definitely a lot of green and brown. Uh, it's definitely becoming more of a thing than a dark blue. I mean, obviously, part, partly that's because of the palette that I'm working with, uh, just in general, like a... Um, you know, I've just got like your standard sort of palette, really. But yeah, I've just been drawn to more browns and greens. I started off doing, uh, most recently, doing a series of three which are behind me. Um, which I almost love crafting in some respects, in the sense that um, they're quite mysterious, eldritch looking images, you know. It's a sort of like yeah, they're not demonic, I wouldn't say that per se, but they've definitely got a mysterious aspect to them. A little crow painting that I did, which is like a humanoid sort of crow, a man of a human crow's head. The sort of moon vortex one with the eye. The eyes reappear a lot in my work, often. I don't know, I guess it's some sort of fixation on perception. Uh, I did a painting of a witch hunter recently, which was for a project I was collaborating on some others with. Um, but I think it sort of stands and so that's more, and again, I'm more um, trying to develop my abilities of figurative painting, right? Um, I'd say my influences at the minute are very much the uh, classic expressionists, Monk, uh, Kokoschka. Um, Otto Dix. So I'm exploring very much, very much that um, style, I suppose. But then I'm also, and also, uh, of course, uh, Franz Mark. Uh, uh, Mark Chagall. Just searching for the mind of the, the word and the artist's name in my head. Uh, yeah, so Chagall as well. But I also want to bring some more of myself to this, uh, which I think I am doing and developing my own uh, series of like forms right 
So, and I think some of the paintings do that to a lesser or greater degree. I mean, if trip, the, the triptych I did this on the radiator behind me currently is probably one of the more successful experiments. I did this portrait. Um, I don't know, like when I was actually painting this, I was wanting to do something in response to what's going on in Palestine and in Gaza and Israel. And I think, like I said, it's just an image, but the <clears throat> idea I was going for was that you know, just these two groups should talk to each other. But I don't know, it's sort of weird as well, because it doesn't, like I said, it's a vague idea. One of the early ones I did, which was like a woman combined with a rabbit's head. And this, there's this like um, portal like shape there, and also what looks like a phone or could be a stick or something. And she's almost like a tree that's emerging from the earth. There's like fertility uh, symbol symbology there, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying just the uh, going through this, um, going through these experiments, just try and create. Um, hear a body of work I suppose. I've also got a lot of bunch of stuff from last uh, last year which I sort of think ties into a lot of this work. It has this sort of like uh, very like almost rough quite raw um moving away from abstraction back into figuration styles. because uh, I've a lot of what I did last year was well, quite abstract but then I was also painting a lot of landscapes as well and portraits of friends and stuff. Um so maybe, and uh, but yeah, like mostly this year I've been doing mostly figurative works, primarily portraits, but also landscapes too. Um, but it's all coming from inside. I'm not doing much from observation. I've been doing a lot of walking out in nature, which is obviously that helps inspire, and you, you know you can sort of like um, collect all that in the database in your head, right? Of like images. Anyway, I'll leave this video there. I don't want to make it too long. Uh, that's what I've been working on in terms of all. Find that interesting. Like and subscribe. This channel uh, covers all sorts. It tends to be art focused, but yeah, I also do talk about mental health and film and culture in general. Like and subscribe if you find it. I think that sounds interesting.